Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over gain and metering in Favolder Pro L. And I'm going to be introducing the star of the show very early. And it's this slider right here. So when your track is done and it's sounding great, you want to bring the volume or the overall loudness to an acceptable level that will be comparable to the tracks that you bought off Beatport. If you're a DJ or if you want, you know, if you're working on an album, you want all the tracks to kind of be cohesively the same volume. So how you do that is you boost the volume. But if you boost the volume just by itself, it will clip. So in order to combat that, you have a limiter, which is essentially the gain going into a very fast compressor with look ahead that catches all the peaks that you can just drive to hell and uh, it'll sound good. And there's some really fascinating things that go on under the hood in these limiters or maximizers as they're called that make it loud. So essentially what you want to do is play your track, give it a, give it a look. So see, that would be my kick peak, but I'm actually not in the loudest part of my, my track. You want to go to the loudest part of your track, which would be right around here. And I know that that's kind of negative 3 dB, my kick. I'm going to adjust the metering scale to uh, say 32. All right, so I have this line here. This is the average. This, this will tell you the perceived loudness. And these guys up here will show you the peaks. And this red line up here is the gain reduction. So say when you, when you boost the volume, or the gain, you want to bring down the peaks to make the quiet sound louder and the louder sounds quiet, so it kind of sausages it together. Yeah, so hopefully I'm explaining this correctly. So I want to go to, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that, and I want to boost the gain until it gets to the red. you notice when the peaks get up to the red, which is zero, it'll start getting ducked. And that is effectively bringing down the loud sounds, the peaks, and then leaving everything else alone. So what that's effectively doing is making the track sound more loud. So yeah, I'll go back to, I'll go to, I'll go to 32. So the main kind of goal that I have is I like to bring my tracks up to negative 6 dB RMS, which is an average loudness. So how I do that is I boost the gain, essentially. See that little thing there? That's the, that's the average. Right now I'm, I'm averaging at negative 6 dB. I got a whole lot of gain reduction, but sounds pretty neat and that's generally the what you're going to be looking at you're going to be boosting the gain and then looking at the metering and uh you're going to be wanting to look at how much gain reduction you're having you don't want to have too much if you have too much gain reduction you can't achieve that loudness then you need to uh, get in there and uh add i guess uh, a compressor or something to catch some things and bring the overall perceived volume up but yeah, that is a kind of a basic rundown of uh, the gain and metering. Nothing fancy. You're literally just boosting the gain until you see uh, the RMS where you like it. But there's some stuff to uh, consider. So uh, we'll be back. We learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.